Welcome to another eddycurrent.com educational video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at one of Dr. Forrester's impedance graphs where he's explaining the effects of different diameters of discontinuities as well as discontinuity depth below the surface and how that affects your signal phase and amplitude. So this is the 1959 NDT handbook, probably the best book on NDT ever written, edited by Robert McMaster. He's probably the biggest fan of non-destructive testing of anybody ever. This is volume two, and this is where all these impedance graphs are found. So a lot of educational material, a test material today, still uses a lot of these graphs, so it's important to know them if you want to get that extra point on the test. So when you look at these impedance graphs, the first thing you have to ask is, what is he trying to tell us? So on this impedance graph, he is trying to explain the effect of flaw diameter, as well as flaw depth below the surface, the effect that that has on signal phase and amplitude. So now that you've got a good look at this graphic, I'm gonna close the book and I'm gonna bring over iPad because I can draw on it. So why is the image rotated counterclockwise 90 degrees? That's because that mimics our impedance plane. Typically you set noise horizontal, right? So that's what I did. So <clears throat> let me get rid of that little pointer. How do I get rid of that? So we're not going to deal with these today. That'll be for a different day. We're going to be looking at surface breaking notches. And there's five of them here. One, two, three, four, five or so. And you've got a notch open to the surface. Gives you a great big signal here. This one right here. Then you get that same notch moved a little bit below the surface. Then you got it a little bit more below the surface and quite deep subsurface there. So you see the amplitude of the signal as well as the phase changes as you drop below the surface. So keeping that in mind, it's always helpful when you can see it on a tester, right? So this is just an EDM block, aluminum. You can see those cracks in the side there? Obviously in millimeters, because it's one millimeter deep on the right, half millimeter, and then 0.2 millimeters, pretty small cracks, but we're looking for small cracks with any kind, right? You don't even want a small crack on your airplane that you're flying on. Then I have ZTEC pencil probe. That's a tiny coil there in the head. That's because we're looking for tiny flaws. You wouldn't be looking for tiny cracks with a big wide coil, you'd miss them. So let's just touch this probe down onto the surface. Here's the signal from my deepest EDM notch in the block, open to the surface. And that's about 75% of the width of the screen, so it's got a large amplitude. The reason it's large amplitude is because there's a lot of eddy currents being disturbed down to that one millimeter depth. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a sheet of Reynolds wrap and put right on top of that EDM notch. I'm gonna renal and check out that signal. Not that beautiful, but now it's only about what 40% of the screen height, but you can see that it tipped up clockwise because there's more phase lag. Now we're gonna double over the Reynolds wrap. So now I've got two thicknesses of Reynolds wrap. And you'll see that's our signal right there. So now even more phase lag, and now it's down to probably what 40%. Actually, part of what you're seeing there was noise. So that signal's only about 25% screen height, and it's what 90 degrees or so. That'll really make it interesting. We're gonna double that over. So now we've got four thicknesses of Reynolds wrap.
And it's not that pretty, but let's see here. Let's try to renull again. We have extreme phase lag. That's why it's tricky to see it. I mean, that's your signal right there. So that's what one division. Now it's like 120 degrees. So obviously the farther you go below the surface, you're going to have a lot more phase lag. It's going to rotate clockwise. And the amplitude goes way down. So obviously something that's open to the surface is going to give you a real nice signal because there's a lot of eddy currents being disturbed. But the farther you go down below the surface, your ability to detect that flaw is going to be greatly reduced. I'm taking all the tin foil off now and just go back to the surface breaking notch. I mean, beautiful signal, right? You're not impeded by those additional layers of good material on top of the flaw. And that's really all that impedance graph is trying to show you that, hey, when you got something that's open to the surface, it's gonna have low phase, big signal. And when you start going below the surface, increased phase lag, cause you're going deeper, smaller signal, probability of detection goes down. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.